Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome back to another lovely day on the Performium Duck SMP. And it really is a lovely day, because today is Valentine's Day. I didn't want to have some sort of Valentine's Day special, so there wasn't a plan for one. So I'm just going to say Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully I'll be able to get this up by the end of today. Uh, we'll see. But... Uh, I just wanted to let you know, all of you, all 1,890, oh, 895 of you, that you are loved. That's right, I love each and every one of you. You are wonderful, delightful human beings, and I'm glad to have been able to be at least a part of your existence for this small amount of time. But today, I have a couple of things that I want to work on. And namely, they are the ocean. I want to get a little bit of uh, clearing done on that. I won't necessarily... Oh, I passed up where I wanted to go. I wanted to go down. Uh, I, I'm not going to necessarily be doing that on this video any time spent over there, but I probably will at least go take a look. Bark. Bark indeed! They are both here! Look at that! She managed to tame another one and dye its color purple so we can identify who's going where, and they are both acting strangely. And here's the second one. Oh, interestingly enough, uh, there are new mega crates today, or uh, as of a couple of days ago, I should say. The spring 2023 set has arrived, and we've managed to already get one of each. The spring 2023 set has arrived. Uh, there is ah, there is some stuff. <gasps> Well, this means it's from Subface, I betcha. Thank you for the donation of the mob spawner. I still am so sad that we lost the uh, 500, or 500, uh, 150 to 160 mob spawners. Uh, that was so sad. But So that is the... Uh, Spawner situation. Let's go take a look at the ocean. Some work has been done, and I do want to see how different it looks. I'm I am not going to update this one. This is going to be a sort of a, a memento of getting started. Uh, let's see here. Home of volcano. Eventually, this will get turned into a volcano. But for now, it is not. Now I am facing north. We are going... Uh, what is it? Counterclockwise is Widdershins, I think is the correct term. But here we go. Oh my! Oh my! Look at that! Cuddles, you have been just going along. Look at you! I only did a couple of these rows, and here you are just Zooming, look at you go! You are awesome! So, uh, that's neat. I will go ahead and take this back. Home, home, please don't crash. Please don't crash, please don't crash. Please don't crash. You did not crash, that is good. Cool! This is just trucking along. That, that's really nice. Um, so today, I did want to do a little bit of stuff over at the ocean, but also I wanted to... Here, let's close that. I also wanted to work on the road a bit. Not a whole lot, just get some of it done. Ah, chirping birds. Isn't that just a glorious noise? Oh, I also need to remember, uh, this, 
I come up here? I kind of want to make this a little bit smoother transition to come over here to this new road entrance. I'll have to work on that a bit. That's going to take a little bit of slab work, but not much. I am thinking about putting some strategic slabs here. Like one here, one here. That would be nice. One maybe back here. And then maybe one here so you can go this way. Uh, put some more dirt in there and put a slab here. Like that. And then a slab there. I, I was looking at it and thinking I could theoretically get by with some strategic slabbing. It's not all a loss. So... That's something. Uh, I haven't been keeping this chunk loaded during the daytime to make it grow over, and I still need to grow grass here. But that's okay. You may... What on earth? Okay. Surprise. And some leaves. Uh, as I was saying, you may remember if you watched the stream, or the video of the stream, that I was doing some road work there. I'm going to just uh, put these in the donations and count them that way. Put that gold carrot back. Ha! Huh. Wait, I have slabs on me. Let's see here. I'll put them there, there, and there. And then if I put one here, 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 and then put two dirt blocks there. One there, one there. Oh no, that's okay. Put those there. Actually, that's not too bad. That that doesn't impede too much. It shows more that there's a path here. And there's no jumping. It's kind of smooth. Actually, I could move this one even one further back. Yeah, let's do that. I have an axe and I punched it because, of course... Yeah, let me go. Let me go grab some dirt. I think I've got some dirt over here from the stream. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go. I have some grass blocks. Let's just go ahead and take care of this. We'll go a path there and a path there, and a path there. Why not? And then this can also be a path. And this is a light source idea. Aha! Let's get that. Put that there. And then just put this on top. And then that. That works out just nicely. This comes up over here. Oh yeah! That's good! That works out really well. Nice transition. Very good. I like it. I'm happy. Oh. Uh, let's do the old switcheroo here. Put that green one there. And the brown one looks better here. And I'll think about what can go there. Anyway, today's activity is going to be the path. And I have one or two options that I can work on. And I'm thinking that it's going to have to be based on my amount of time and focus that I need to spend on other things. 
I was going to start work on the wobbly bit of the path here, but instead, oh, or the tunnels, but instead, I was thinking, why not work from the back to the front? Because if I go over here, past this area, once I get to the water here, it's going to need a pier walk. I have decided to call this a pier walk because this, as far as you can see, is a pier. It goes out into the water and it may stop out there, yes, at the end of the road. But then because it butts up right against what is going to be the town, this is also a boardwalk. And then the, the actual pier would be something that sticks out that way or that way. So this is a pier walk. That's what it is. So I was thinking of beginning work on the pier walk. And I wanted to fly out here to remind myself that it is for sure 100% over the water once it gets past a certain point. And I don't have to worry about interacting with land again. Anywhere past this island here. So I'm thinking that what I could do for today I want to see about designing the walkway that's going to lead out to here. I was thinking about having it entirely straight, but I think that it would have more charm if it sort of weaved a little bit back and forth to demonstrate that it was sort of undulating with the water and continuing the trend of it undulating and, and uh, meandering on land in the path area. But I think I might make it a bit longer <laughs> wavelength. That way it feels different enough. Now, what I have in mind for it, and i that's why I had the slabs on me. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't have them anymore, of course. Uh... What I had in mind was to have maybe some positions where it is secured to the, the ground and and has stilts and things that go down. But all the rest of it kind of just be free floating and have it have high spots and low spots and have it be built out of slabs. I'm not going to build into the water. It's going to be all above the water. Well, you know because some of it is going to be just above the water next to it, I could build the slab as the top slab in the water and just conceal the fact. Here, let me, let's go back. Let's go back to the base. Get a couple of slabs and take a look. Actually, what am I doing? I can get some slabs, right? Here. And I go slash craft because I have that command now. I keep forgetting. Back to the water. I hear you, spider. I could incorporate that waterfall into the view. I might claim some of that area. Oh! After the uh, most recent RGA stream, I've managed to get uh, another couple thousand gems, so I'll probably be purchasing yet even more claims. That'll be nice. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I was going to just demonstrate over here next to the land. If you place a slab, I'll use this area because it for sure has water underneath it. If you place a slab, say, here, it's fine. It goes above the water. No problem, but if you place a slab here, it does this to the water underneath it. And normally that wouldn't be a problem, but from the outside, especially if someone wants to be persnickety, they might see that from the side. So I could try to, in the areas where it does that, I could try to maybe have 
a a sort of a concealment block to hide the visualization because most of what's going to be visible will be only if you come at an off angle and then over here it'll be a high spot next to it and so there won't even be a visualization of the underneath actually I could make that work above the water and then on the top layer of the water that is actually not too invasive I have decided that's that's probably gonna be how it'll work awesome so that's that taken care of or at least that part of the planning uh, I do probably plan on after I put this video up today I do plan on working on maybe more of the road during the stream so uh, I might pick back up working here or I might continue on what I'm doing over here with the roadway during the stream and have oh I also need to plan the stairs for the slope there uh, and have a little bit more progress going on oh here's something I was thinking I, I keep flying past and seeing this I could use nether rack in in this uh, vanilla texture pack at least I don't know what it looks like now but I could use this as some remaining coral and and just build up some areas and make it have some vibrance on either side of the road I I might just claim a little bit on both sides of the road and build this up and make it look lush and and I won't say more modern as as in uh, modern version of Minecraft but uh, I think the the dead emptiness of the water is just excessive and that's one thing that has bothered me a lot is before the aquatic update there just weren't really any mods that added a lot of stuff to the water except except biomes of plenty but biomes of plenty uh that that kind of went from nothing to 11 in one crank of the dial and I was looking and looking for things that were sort of a, a middle ground. And yeah, there are some mods for older Minecraft, like 1.12.2 and before, that had a little bit of stuff to do with the water, uh, like Mariculture. I've got a, a mod guide for that, and that's a nice old mod that has a lot to do with fishing and, and aquatic stuff. But... There, there aren't any mods from back then to add, I don't know, dolphins or sharks or whales or anything like that. There, there just really aren't. Nothing good that, that don't also add a bajillion other things. I, I really was wishing for to have found a 1.12.2 mod that just spruced up the water a little bit. Because I have a... A bunch of mod packs that I enjoy and they don't really start doing water until later people just forgot about the oceans even though they're the biggest part of the game especially in much older versions uh, it's it's saddening to see how devoid of life they are but I'm rambling I need to get some supplies and I need to Hmm. I think it would be best for me to do mostly oak with maybe a bit of spruce to indicate that it's dampened. 
I don't want to go ham, get dark oak. I don't want to go birch. I don't want to go jungle. I don't want to go, go acacia. So I'm thinking oak and spruce are probably going to be my best bet. So here goes another spruce expenditure to throw on the list of reasons why I need to keep cutting down spruce trees. Um, oh, yeah, that's the other one. P. Weather. Clear. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on that. It won't be a whole lot of updates in between. It's probably just going to be a little... Uh, here's what I've got so far, and then at the end it's going to be wrapping up. But I do want to get started on that today, and then I will move on to streaming. And also, uh, I have a couple other things that I'll talk about later on, uh, or maybe in the next video. But we'll see. So I'm going to get to work. I'll be back. All right, small little progress update. Uh, well, little on the grand scale of things. Uh, I have decided that... What I will be doing is, for the main brunt of the pier walk, it is going to be at the water level. And then I'm going to have little parts that are raised in sort of offset details. And in addition to that, I have laid out the general waviness of the structures so that I can have some sort of guidelines to go by for building it. Um, I am using the randomization, and you probably saw there on the hotbar that uh, the blocks that are being placed are randomly selected from one of the spots in the hotbar. So if I come over here and I just make a line, you can watch it go around and randomly select one of those spots. And that's what this mod that I am using does, is it makes it so that you can build with randomization. It is very nice. It makes it a lot easier for, for the planning. And uh, it's, it's overall very pleasant. I'm going to do that. So now what I need to do is finish the uh, actual building part of this for the, the flat area. Then figure out how I'm going to do the high spots and then if and where I'm going to be doing supports. This may just end up being a floating walk. But I will probably have some anchor spots every once in a while. Maybe, hmm, maybe I'll have uh, an anchor spot in the middle-ish. Maybe another one here. Perhaps another one here. And then it's all going to be anchored to this. And then I'm going to continue the pattern out into the sea where it will meet up with uh, Breakwater Bay. So this is what I have envisioned. I will get it in place and then see if I want to make any changes afterwards. Uh, but as you can see, it's not, it's not gigantic, but it's also not a small build when it's all going to be done. I, I am going to be putting a bit of effort into this to try to make it look reasonable. And uh, I think this randomization is helping. It makes it look like some of the boards are sogging. And I like the effect. Uh, I may tune it down or tone it down a little bit so it's only one slot instead of two for the spruce. But I'm, I'm liking how it's looking. Anyway... I'm going to get back to work and wrap this project up for the day in my next clip. And then I will get to work on doing the streaming. So I'll talk to you in a bit. All right. I have settled on a design for the roadway. And I'm quite happy with it. It is a lot more gentle of a, uh, a sway back and forth be between this and the land-based uh, pattern that I'm planning on doing. And 
I like the randomness of the blocks. It turned out really nice. And I have even put in a sort of a template for the light fixture that I'm going to be having. Although I think I might want to do something like this, assuming there's a block there, to make it look more secure. Yeah, that looks okay. Just some glowstone, some slabs, and some fence, and then trapdoors around the glowstone. Uh, obviously, this is not the more recent version. This is 1.12.2, so there's not going to be the, uh, what are they called? Swamp lights, fairy lights, whatever. Uh, I don't have access to that in this version. So, this is just going to be glowstone. Um, I'm not going to be going through nearly as much as you might expect, but I was thinking while I was doing this, I was remembering back to the whole spawner thing, and I thought I might want to pencil in a plan for putting in a witch uh, grinder so that I can get the materials from them. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. I don't think that they have base XP higher than the other mobs. I'm not sure, though. Uh, I'll have to look it up, but I am hopeful that all I have to do is just set up a drop hole and they will uh, produce the redstone and the glowstone and all that uh, without me having to interact with them by manually terminating them. We'll see. But for now, I think that this is uh, a good enough stopping point for this project. I, if you're wondering why I haven't brought it all the way, I haven't decided where or how I'm going to do the stair arrangement, so I wanted to leave myself a little breathing room, so I figured here is good. Uh, eventually this will connect up, and there will be stairs, and it'll go overland, and there will be a bridge, and then I'll go up here, and all that good stuff, but... I think, hello, hi. Hmm, I'll have to definitely light up this area, make it a little safer for people uh, traversing the roadway. But uh, the, the plan, by the way, is to just keep this going all the way over to uh, Breakwater Bay out there. And that way people have access relatively safely to go from there all the way to the main base, which is the, uh, the, the mushroom world that I'm slowly developing. Uh, I am going to probably, uh, after this is done, I will... I, I have a plan. I'm going to put this video up. I was originally going to go straight into streaming this, but I'm going to give uh, people a chance to watch this, those of you who do. Uh, and then I will stream uh, maybe tomorrow. So instead of putting up a video and then streaming the same project right afterwards, uh, uh, I'll give it a little bit of breathing room and maybe do something else. Uh, on that note, I have been trying to get into the habit of streaming uh, multiple times a week. I would like to get a routine going of Minecraft and Skyrim and uh, Dead Frontier 2 and Seven Days to Die and uh, some other stuff thrown in there. Uh, so... Keep a lookout for that. I have some plans for some series, including some interaction uh, series from you guys. Give you guys a chance to interact with um, decision making and things like that for what's going on with the uh, streams and also with series related to them. So that, that might be some fun to look forward to. But for right now, today's task and project is going to be put on pause. Now I'm going to wrap things up. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please give a like. It does help and I appreciate it. Also, 
If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so that we can get to that uh, magical 2000 number that I have arbitrarily selected. Uh, I am very giddy watching the number of subscribers tick up. I am very happy with this. I am just excited and, and jubilated and quite joyful and all those other positive words. So that is something that oh, we can look forward to in the future is 2,000 subs. And you can help me get there by just clicking subscribe. Um, also, I have a Discord where you can interact more directly uh, and participate in things. I am working towards getting some uh, Discord Nitro, but I'm going to be uh, relying on uh, patrons and, and donations and things before I uh, decide to uh, invest in that. But I was planning on maybe ha setting up some sort of uh, weekly or monthly movie night or, or something like that. Uh, on the Discord, and also give you guys a chance to uh, play games with me and uh, interact and make decisions and choices over there. I have content over on my Discord just for my Patreon patrons, of which there are now five. Uh, once again, welcome Ryan Still. Uh, but uh, th yeah, I've, I've got a lot of things that I'm hoping to get going and uh, keep going. So lots to look forward to but i'm going to go ahead and let you go and stop rambling thank you once again for watching this is thorn of night and i will talk to you later <laughs>